Welcome to the Mama's a Fit YouTube channel. This is our pregnancy week by week update, and we are currently on week number 13. My name is Gina. I am currently pregnant with my fourth baby, and I am currently 13 weeks pregnant. So you are following my pregnancy journey as you learn about your own. I am currently in my second trimester, although depending on the app that you follow, it may be telling you that you're still in your first trimester. I am choosing to be in my second trimester so that I could not have any of those first trimester symptoms anymore and I'm overall feeling much better and enjoying a pregnancy. <laughs> so week 13, so baby's about the size of a jalapeno, so like two and a half to three inches long. Um, I always wonder how they come up with these fruit and vegetables because like one minute it's like a lemon and then the next it's like a jalapeno. So it's like, is it just, it's probably just like length, I guess, of these uh babies every app is different too yeah every app is different and some are toys too i th I like the toys like your baby's the size of an army soldier but not i don't know if that's that's not that this is week. that is what is it that, is this week <laughs> this week in my app it's the size of a, a green army soldier oh man <laughs> i just guessed that's, that's great. great i am in tune with this app but what is actually happening with baby, though, not being the size of a green soldier, what is happening with baby during this week? So baby's eyelids are still closed, but the eyeballs underneath are starting to form, as well as their vocal cords are starting to form, are fully formed at this point. So you can't obviously hear your baby making noise, but like now they're able to cry or make like different noises inside, which is kind of cool. Their intestines also, before they were part of the umbilical cord, but now the intestines have moved into the abdomen where they're going to be permanently located. So they're starting to fully form in the abdomen, as well as the bones within the legs and the arms are starting to form as well. Baby is still moving around. You might not be able to feel anything, but you might feel like some flutters if you do feel it. So baby is moving around in there. Up until about week 12, they may be able to do that thing called a dating ultrasound to measure the top of baby to their rump or their like bottom. And this can give them a, a bit more of an accurate due date for baby. After 12 weeks is when babies start to kind of take their own growth trajectory. So every baby has their own different growth curve. So now is when the, you don't really need to compare your baby's growth with other baby's growth because it's going to be different depending on different things. 13 weeks is also the beginning of that second trimester. Depending on who you ask, it could be also be the last week of the first trimester, but we're going to say it is the first week of the second trimester. The big gust of energy, second wind, you're feeling like yourself again. And this is due to one, that blood volume has finally caught up. So you're not short of breath and like fatigued from having to create all that blood. But also our estrogen is starting to increase again. And another wonderful side effect of that estrogen is an increase in vaginal discharge. And it's like this thin, milky type of discharge that you might start to notice. And this is has a very good goal. Its goal is to protect your baby from outside bacteria. But an unfortunate side effect is that your underwear may feel wet a lot and they you might want to wear a panty liner. Do not wear a tampon. Do not. Panty liner is okay though to protect your underwear. Another thing you might start to notice is that your sex drive might either come back or start to increase more than you've ever realized. And this is completely normal. Some people have no return and some people it'll be like, insane amounts of increase in sex drive. As long as your provider has not told you you have any contraindications or reasons to abstain from sex, it is completely fine. Your cervix is like four centimeters and there's also a lot of fluid to protect that baby so you're not going to hurt your baby during intercourse. So like I said before, I am choosing to be in my second trimester right now because I do not want to have any more first trimester symptoms. And overall, I'm feeling much better. All my food aversions are gone. I can eat pretty normally. I do still have to eat very frequently. Otherwise, I do get a little nauseous. So I'm making sure that I'm eating like snacks throughout the day and then also eating like frequent meals has been super helpful for me. This week, I also had my first hospital clinic prenatal appointment. Um, so I do dual care during my pregnancy. Since I am planning to have a home birth, I do establish care with a hospital so that I can transfer to them if I risk out of home birth 
or if I need like a higher level of like testing such as lab work or ultrasounds. And so I did have my first hospital clinic appointment this week, which you may also be just first starting to actually sit down with your provider at this point as well. We did all of my labs, so I got all my prenatal labs. I also had an ultrasound to check on baby. They did do a dating ultrasound, but I had one when I was eight weeks. And so I'm going by the due date from the eight week one because I think that that date is more accurate because all the babies are kind of the same size at eight weeks. So I'm sticking with that due date because this one was a little bit different. And it does matter to me when there's a difference in date because there are limitations for me on when I can go into labor at home based on like state laws. And so I want to make sure that I'm, I have the correct due date so I'm within the correct window in order to give birth at home. The midwife at the hospital clinic also informed me that I was advanced maternal age, which was a really fun conversation and offered like additional testing for me because I'm really old now. I turned 36 like two weeks ago, um, which is technically considered like a geriatric pregnancy, although I think it should be like wise goddess pregnancy or like sage pregnancy or something like that. But we're, I guess we're going with geriatric. <laughs> um, so they, were, they did offer some additional testing for my anatomy scan where I can go maternal fetal medicine to have like a more in-depth scan. Um, but I opted to just stick with a normal anatomy scan when I'm closer to my 20 week mark. However, based on conversation with the midwife, we discussed that my previous pregnancies were all fairly low risk. This one is trending to be very low risk and she doesn't anticipate there being any issues. And so she doesn't really feel very confident that I need all this additional testing. And so it can be a really helpful conversation to have with your provider about what options are available to you if you also have NVS maternal age, which is really anything over 36. And that's like a whole conversation on its own of whether or not that is really old or not. Um, but being aware of what additional options may be available to you or can help you make informed decision on what you feel most empowered with for your prenatal care. At this point during my pregnancy, since I'm in my second trimester and I have so much more energy, my workouts are a little bit longer. I'm starting to lift a little bit more weight and my workouts are a little bit more frequent, which is really exciting. So I'm feeling a lot more like myself. I'm not having to nap in the middle of my day anymore and I could eat fairly regularly. Um, so I'm feeling really good. I'm really excited to move into my second trimester. My bump is starting to show a little bit more, which is it's a little bit earlier than my previous pregnancies. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to looking like I'm pregnant instead of like I ate too many donuts for breakfast <laughs> <laughs> that I did not eat. Shroxin did not eat my donut. She did. <laughs> So thank you so much for watching my 13-week update, and I'm excited to be on this journey with you. If you are 13 weeks pregnant, comment below and let us know how you are feeling. If you consider yourself in the second trimester, or if you still want to be in the first trimester, are you still having symptoms? Let us know what's going on with you because we'd love to be a part of your journey. Stay tuned for week number 14, where I update you on how I'm feeling the second week of my second trimester, all the way until I give birth, which of course is hopefully before 22 weeks. But thank you so much for watching.